Oh my gosh, let's go! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe! What's up, my high squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, it's evening, as you can see, here at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Yeah, our home. Um, why is it glitching? OMG, guys, my phone is glitching. Anyways, um, yeah, just had a delicious dinner cooked by RJ. And guys, look, the pool. <gasps> Gonna swim before sleeping, but look, the when the water fall part is off and it's nighttime, it is so placid. Look, and there's like a, like a steam, if you look carefully, there's like a steam that evaporates from the surface of the pool. Our neighbors are singing karaoke. Um, but it's so like beautiful and mystical. Isn't that nice? See, I love swimming at night in our pool because it kind of like, as I said before in previous vlogs, it's like swimming through Gatorade, guys. It's so peaceful. I love it. Now it's been raining all day. So I didn't really swim so much for the past couple of days. So I wanted to really get in a good swim before going to bed today. Now that it stopped raining. All right. See, so peaceful. I wish RJ would join me, but he's currently in bed surfing the internet with our dogs. All right, Mabuhai squad. I'm going to do some cardio. All right guys, so I've been swimming now for half an hour. I just wanted to show you guys the forest at night. The sounds guys that are coming out of that forest are so calming. I hear tree frogs, all kinds of insects. It's really, really magnificent. You know, as someone who grew up in cities, for pretty much my whole life. Like, now that we're living here, kind of in semi-wilderness, I say semi-wilderness because, I mean, we've got streets just out of the subdivision and there's a mall just 15 minutes away, things like that. Um, but it's wilderness enough. I mean, that right there, if you're new to the vlogs, this here is a pretty thick forest, um, which I've, trekked through remember that vlog with our good friend joshua it's pretty thick in there um there's a bamboo forest up here and there's pretty much forest all along that path there it's really placid how about you guys are you guys city people or you guys who are watching for most of your life where did you grow up in the city or in the wilderness like this and how remote if in the wilderness See, do you hear those frogs? It's like, Rah. it's really placid. I love it. It's just wonderful. I love just sitting here. See? It's just all quiet and listening to the nighttime sounds of the forest. There's something therapeutic about it. I just love, love it. See? See, look at that. It's like. This is like a surreal dream. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to do a little bit more swimming, Mabu High Squad, and I will see you guys early in the morning. I should just sleep here. Seriously. Like, we should just sleep right here. <laughs> what do you guys say? Good morning, Mabu High Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, taking you to a cool place. Look. We are here at uh, just a vendor of, of fruits. Guys, look, mangosteen. <gasps> they sell them in like long... See? So the red mangosteens are like not as ripe and then these dark ones are ripe. Mm. Can we open one? Yay, we're gonna test. RJ, that's not how to open a mangosteen. I think we're gonna get the already ripe ones because I finish, I can finish all of this in a day, guys. It's so good. This here's Lanzones. Like when my parents and aunts and uncles come from Canada, this is what they request. Lanzones, it's also kind of like a lychee-ish tasting fruit. This here's Rambutan, see? 
Harry Bowles. Love this. We're gonna buy some. Wow, guys, look at all these weaver ants. Lots of ants crawling over it. That's a good thing, you know why? Because it means no pesticides were used. <laughs> Love it. We're getting this. Yay. Love the fact that all these fresh fruits and veg are available just on the side of the street here. And that's where we, we buy most of our fruits, RJ and I. See, they weigh it on this. So analog, I love it. Oh, we're buying a lot, guys. I'm gonna finish this in just a few days. How's the lanzones? Is it tasty? Awesome. This is RJ, by the way, my love. They also sell juices. Um, Ate, what kind of juice is this? Uh, oh, vinegar. <laughs> I thought this was juice. It's vinegar. Sorry, all you Filipinos. Can you tell I'm from Canada? Uh, there's pure honey up there and squash. Yay, guys. So happy we got fresh fruit. By the way, guys, if you're new, this here is the Mabuhay bus. Um, it's a van bus. It's a Hyundai that we've customized, see, into Filipino colors. We've had it for several years now. Um, there's a bathroom back there. Um, there's a bar right there. Um, and this, I've, there's a bed, see, that you can set up. This is, please excuse my messy bed. A little mini fridge back here. Um, there's a coat hanger up here. RJ and I decided to customize, there's the bathroom. We decided to customize this vehicle and get this vehicle because um, I do a lot of tapings, right? And often in these tapings, they only have like a tent for the actors to stay in. So we just bring this. So I could like sleep, lie down. I've got mini fridge for food bathroom to get ready and oftentimes RJ and I are bouncing from event to event and so we just get ready here in the van very convenient there's a workstation here see with a desk that pulls out I can have my laptop here I could do work there's also the outlets all over the van so people could charge their mobiles um, a television up here we also have karaoke in this van um, and look RJ's Apple Drive logo and Ants Canada customized here. Very convenient, love this vehicle. Um, and it's really helped us a lot. Here in the Philippines, guys, traffic is crazy. You can be stuck in traffic, especially in the later part of the year, like now, for up to five hours. Um, and so like, if you have to go to the bathroom, you're in trouble. You better have a bottle handy. Uh, so yeah, that's why it really just helps to kind of have everything here in one car. It's kind of like a mobile home. I also love that we have lots of storage space, see? Like in the planes, the airplanes, we've got overhead compartment bins. Um, we've got reading lights, see, up here. Um, the one who customized our van is called Atoy. His name is Atoy. Check him out at Atoy Customs if you would like to customize your van here in the Philippines. They're really great. There's lots of uh, places to put your coffee, your alcohol, and me, I'll often just sleep here, like so, or this way. See? So we actually had to leave the house early because we're, we had a meeting this morning out here in the province, a different province from where we live. It's, um, what province is this, Quezon? We're in Quezon province. Uh, we are doing an ocular for a parody that we're gonna be shooting soon. So beautiful out here. All right guys, we're here at home. I am going to check up on our sugar gliders. Yes, for those of you who saw the last vlog, a new sugar glider came to us, the wife of our ado previously adopted sugar glider, Suga. And um, we recently got him a wife. Her name is Honey, and she's prob she's still scared, guys. But starting t starting the bonding process now. Honey, oh honey, honey, hi, honey. She's sleeping in this pouch. Oh, there's Sugar. Sugar, it's just me here. Sugar, it's just me. Here's a here's a nut. 
I think I startled him. Honey, would you like a goji berry? Here, I've got a gift for you. So she's still scared and frightened. See, she's making that noise. It's okay, it's just me. It's just me, I have another gift. And there's an ant on me, oh my. How did that get there? Do you want a berry? No? Let's try a cashew, here. It's okay. There she is. She's still young, and as you can see, still kind of afraid, but this is all normal. It's part of the bonding process and socializing process. She's scared. It's okay. Ah, don't bite me. I've got a gift for you. Yeah. No. Here. Here, it's just me. It's a cashew, no? Mmm. Yes. Okay, where are these ants coming from? Is it from my cashews? How about a fingertip of Ceralac? Mm-hmm. There you go. See? I'm a friend. I could tell she's afraid because they do that that pose. It's like a threat pose where they stick their hands in the air in front of the like beside their faces to try to scare you away and they make that noise but she recently like literally just came the other day so so in time in a few days more she'll learn that we're friends um, I'm gonna start wearing her under my shirt as well and that'll help with the bonding process oh honey guys let's see honey honey time to bond Yes. Hi, honey. Let you have a taste of Cyrillac. Oh, look at this. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Good girl. Yeah, see? Just me. OMG. She lunged at me. Luckily, she didn't bite. See? All right, Mabu High School. See the nose? It's time to bond with her. She's so scared. I'm still a stranger to her um, and she's probably really confused because she was separated from her family, right? Her siblings, she's in a new home, strange place. So she's gonna be scared. It's understandable that she'll be scared. So I'm just giving her my, I'm offering her my finger with Cyrillac. And she's here. She's just licking. She's licking from my finger. Yeah, see? I'm a, obviously a little scared because she could lunge out and bite me like she's doing right now. But it's not an attack bite. It's just. She's biting. She's like, I want more. Ah, no bite. Ah. Look at her hands, wow. My dogs are trying to get in. It's okay, it's okay. My dogs are trying to get in here because they know that this sugar glider's in here, but I'm not gonna let them in. So when bonding with sugar gliders, you kind of, it really is one of those things where you just need to put in the time. Like spend hours every day just hanging out with them until one day they just stop lunging at you and making that weird scary noise. Um, Honey over here is, she was really well socialized already and she's a joey, meaning she's really young. She's only I think three months old now. So bonding should be a breeze. I bet this will, she'll be bonded within a few days from now. Now, um, what I learned is that I can't introduce Suga, her husband, to be, to Honey yet. The only time I can introduce them is when she is mature, which will be five months from now, guys. So, sadly, we'll have to wait for five months before she can actually um, live in the same cage as Suga, 
her future husband, but they can play together under supervision. The reason why we can't mix them to live together is that Shoga will try to mate with her, and supposedly that's not good. She could get injured, um, and you know, so we don't want that happening. Um, but I can't wait to actually introduce them, like let them meet. So for the past few days, their cages have been side by side, so they know of each other's presence. I'm sure they're acquainted by now. I'm sure Shoga and Honey have like vocalized and talked to each other because sugar gliders make this cool bark. I, I don't know if it's just the males, but Shoga goes rawr, 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 like almost like a dog. And I'm sure he makes all kinds of noises to talk to Honey over here. Um, so they know of each other's presence. And um, I, in a few days, I'll probably introduce, like when she's more bonded to me, I will introduce them both under supervision in our linen room so they could play and finally meet mm -hmm, in person. Look at Sahara. She's like, let me in. I know there's something there. I can smell it. Speaking of smell, I love female sugar gliders because they smell a lot less. They don't smell as much. Um, it's the males really that smell and they have those big scent glands right on their head and chest. And then um, joeys, like babies, like this one, smell even less. So I don't smell anything right now. Mm -hmm. Honey, you're so cute. All right guys, passing sugar, uh, honey, onto RJ. Just put her under your shirt. <laughs> it looks so cute, Mabuhai squad. I can't show you though. RJ's like, don't show me. <laughs> Man, it looks so cute. Ooh, is our blue iguana. Hi, Magnus, hanging out. Weather's like mixed clouds um, with sunny periods. No rain, thankfully. But guys, now that we're here, I'm so excited. We are going to Cut down this bunch of bananas, the sabah. Finally, after months and months of watching it grow and start from just a flower, we're gonna cut it down today. Yes. Time to see the pond, guys. I've been wanting to see the pond for so long. So guys, apparently it's done. We now just need to rinse it and like fill it with water. <gasps> oh, all right. Sweet, all done. Finally dried. That's great. Finally. I've been waiting. Can't wait to fill this with water so we could finally move our turtles in and other fish and whatever we're gonna put in here. Yay. All right guys, update on the side farming lot. Guys, excited to say and show you they're finally working on the aviary. Here, they're gonna build a base and that's where it's gonna be. This here is our side farming lot wow the rains really flattened it now it goes way down there and down a hill um and that forest is also part of our lot i'm gonna plant some food in there to create a food forest i'm really excited guys yay see those wire things they're starting to build the base now this will be this pergola will be higher um as high as we can go rj assures us so that it's safe like for typhoons and won't just blow off. OMG, yay, guys, do you see what I'm seeing? Magnus is eating on his own. Yay! So it turns out he's not blind. <laughs> for the longest time, guys, Magnus was not eating. He would only eat when I fed him. Um, in case you're new to the vlogs, Magnus is a newly adopted blue iguana and he would only eat when I fed him. But now, he's actually eating on his own. Yay! Awesome! Good going, Magnus. Oh my gosh, guys. Guess what? The bananas that we've been watching months, maybe four or five months, are ready to be cut. Here we go. I'm gonna cut it down. There's out the LC, Koyalendon, and there's the knife that I'm gonna use to chop the, the bunch with. There's the ladder. Um, he's going to tie, what's he doing? Oh, is it, oh, for protection. Okay, he's gonna tie the ladder to the tree so that it doesn't move. OMG, this is so awesome! See? Now, if you look carefully, there's like a yellow, see that 
the, all the way on the side towards the top right, one of the bananas is yellowing. So we gotta harvest this ASAP because it's it's ready. If we leave this, bats will eat it. Like some, it starts to release a fragrance that attracts the fruit bats and they will start eating the bananas. So this is the right time. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, so better idea. We're actually just gonna chop the whole tree down and then we'll pull it down and the, the large tree needs to be removed anyways because since it bears fruit, it's gonna die. And if we keep it here, it'll like steal nutrients from these other banana trees that are growing. So as soon as you harvest a banana, you need to cut the tree from which it grew. So I guess we're just, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna chop the tree. Okay, OMG. Just like here? Oh my gosh, wow. All right, farmer. Farmer Mike. Oh, it's so soft. Another side tap. Other side? Yes, yes, that's it. Oh, okay, thank you. Sound that doesn't fall that way on me. Okay, now. 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 Oh my, whoa. Oh, we killed the tree beside it. <laughs> okay, there was a casualty. Oh my, but look at how many bananas. Holy, there are like a hundred of them here. Wow. Holy, that's crazy. We got to them before the bats did. Yay. Yes, done. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, holy, it's huge. Holy, this is, power. this is heavy. This is heavier than any weight I carry at the gym. Oh, oh, this is heavy. Guys, this is the, the, the weight of a person. RJ, we got bananas for the rest of the year. Holy, this is awesome. Holy, wow, Mabu High Squad. Can you believe it? Look at how many there are. Pero sayang, we killed the tree beside it before it could bear fruit. It's okay because we could use all these leaves for my aviary. Oh, wow. And because we've chopped down these two trees, the surrounding baby banana trees can have more nutrients. Wow, that's crazy, yay. We did farmer things, Mabuhay squad. We did farmer things. Guys, this is Kuya Irvin. He's very skilled. Oh, wow. We're just gonna chop this up now. So yeah, guys, see, look. There's ban banana tree here, banana tree there, banana tree down there, another banana tree there. See there? Um, we've got this banana tree that still needs to give bananas, this banana tree that needs to give bananas. I mean, another banana tree. See, it, it's always sprouting up new, like, banana trees. So, even though we lost this one, it's kind of not really a big deal. Isn't that cool? Wow! So all those pieces of the trunk can be chopped up and also fed to Billy. There's a lot of uses for that. You can even eat it. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. Isn't it just amazing? Wow, we grew this, Mabuhay Squad. What a miracle. The earth produced food. Isn't that awesome? All right, Mabuhay Squad, isn't that awesome? We grew this and, of course, organic. No pesticides, no chemicals or nothing like that. Just straight from the earth. From like poop of creatures. Look at that. Mmm. So guys, uh, in case you don't know, this is Saba. It's a cultivar, a native cultivar of the regular Cavendish bananas that most people eat. Um, native to the Philippines. And it's so good. They call it sweet plantain in English. See? And you guys know, like ever since I converted to the healthy lifestyle, been eating a lot of this. Awesome fiber, awesome potassium, awesome micronutrients, amazing carb. Most Filipinos have it boiled. I love it raw. Mm. Mm. And 
There's a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm coming. And oh my, hi guys. Here's Brittany. Brittany, do you want some bath? Wait. <laughs> this is Brittany, our <laughs> Mexican hairless. Go eat it. She doesn't like it very much. Here, you want it or no? Rizelle, you want? This is Rizelle, our... <laughs> Here. Go. Our poodle. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good, right? Yeah. Talk. 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 <laughs> good boy. Mmm. <laughs> I want another one. Love this. This was a dream of Blue High Squad. Moving out to a farm, growing our own food, free food from the earth. Mm. We didn't have to do. Oh, hey, no. We didn't have to do nothing. The rain watered it and everything. Sit. Wait. Wait. Leave it alone. No, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay, go get it. Good girl. Guys, the training has helped Brittany. Rizelle, give me paw. Good boy. Turn. Talk. 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 No, talk. Good boy. Awesome. We literally have, I think, close to 100 of these. There's gotta be 80 to 100 of these bananas. Want some? Open, open, open. We're gonna feed these to our parrots. We're gonna feed them to our iguanas. Our sugar gliders will love this. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Earth. OMG, Be! We have so many bananas. RJ's cooking dinner. Oh, that was so awesome. I love that, Mabu High Squad. I can't wait to start growing other fruits on trees, like on our farming lot. Fruits that are easier to pick than bananas. <laughs> Woo. Oh my goodness. That was so fun. So, Mabu High Squad, gonna like shower because I am like kind of dirty and sweaty and everything, but thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you learned a few things. And I really appreciate you guys being part of this whole journey with us. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me and RJ. Uh, I love that we have this ongoing friendship. Every time you guys tune in and every time we upload a vlog, the birds started flying at me. They're screeching at the sunset now. Hi. This here's the aviary, by the way. <laughs> I can't wait to move those birds to their outdoor, truly outdoor aviary soon where they can fly laps back and forth. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. I know you guys have been doing that. Thank you so, so much. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Can't wait to eat those bananas. Bye.